Knock, knock, pink ponies, bitch! Hey guys, Haas here, and I'm starting to load up and pack my car. I'm trying not to put too much crap in here until I leave, just because I don't want to leave it all in the trunk in front of my house. But uh, I thought I'd kind of go start going over what I got in here, and then we will, um, I'll show you the other things that are going to go in here as well. Uh, because I think everybody kind of wanted to know what I was taking and stuff. So Tactical Taylor is one of my sponsors for this project. So they provided me with a couple of bags and some other stuff. So uh, first of all, this is my kind of food bag. So in here I just have MREs and Mountain House, a bunch of snacks and uh, coffees and some little fruit snacks and things like that. And over here I have five hour energies and gas for my jet boil. And over here I have a Steri pen and just some other drinks type stuff and oral hydration things. So this is going to be kind of like my food bag. You can see it's kind of like a suitcase from uh, Tactical Taylor. This is the small and it's it's pretty big. It's a pretty decent size. So I have over over 120 some hours of, of driving. So I got plenty of five hour energy and I got a case of Red Bull here. And then back here I have I have my uh, extended fighting bag and it's set up for ARs and I'm taking an AR with me and my 5.56 AK which all the same nylon gear can be used for the for that. I have plenty of bags for both. And then back here I have a change of oil uh, for the vehicle and a new filter and stuff like that so I can change the oil if I have to on the fly. And then here on this side, I have a five gallon or a 10, or what is this, 20 liters? 20 liters of gas. And there's a 10 liter one on the other side of it, kind of tucked away there, kind of fits all together in there. And so in the far back, I got some extra windshield wiper blades and road flares and things like that. So the rest of the stuff on this side is just crap I need to organize and then take out of here or, or keep. It's just little things like fire starters and uh, cold steel shovel and uh, cold steel uh, tomahawk because you never know when you're gonna need stuff like that. So it's a uh, everyday thing for my, my vehicle is a cold steel shovel and cold steel tomahawk. So a friend of mine is a real big fan of ocean spray diet cranberry, I guess. So he uh, keeps all these bottles and they're, they're very good. They seal off very well. So I use these to store water in my trunk and I have three of these, they're three liters a piece. So that's enough to fill a camel back or something like that. So I usually keep three or four or five of these in there. Maybe pick up a few extra when I'm up there. This is really, 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 really important that you have water that is potable. One, because you may want to drink it. And two, because I personally have had a hose. It wasn't like a really um, you know, integral hose to the engine, but it was one of the kind of side hoses to the coolant system. Came off and it ended up eventually slowly spraying out all the water and it the engine overheated in it and so if I wouldn't have had water there would have been no way to fill my radiator out in the middle of nowhere except for maybe pissing in it or something like that so it's important to carry lots of water so let's move inside and we'll take a look at the rest of the stuff all right guys so in here we have uh, some light stands which are uh, very important and these are very lightweight because my lights are very lightweight and I'll be having reviews of those this is an arm to hold a reflector piece and in here I have various um, slider type things and uh, steady cam. So various attachments for cameras and things like that, all of which will be reviewed on this channel. I have uh, my old tripod that I used to use and I'm taking the tripod that the camera is sitting on now which is a, a Manfrotto 546B. and obviously the camera which is a Sony FDR AX100 and the mic that's on it is the Rode VideoMic Pro right now and I have this is a bag from Tactical Taylor I think it's their enhanced duffel bag very tough it's 99% sure this is 1000 Denier Cordura it's a very thick and tough so I wanted a nice big duffel bag, so all my clothes are going in here. Uh, this is a thermal scope. And then I have four of those cases with the various camera equipment in it. That's a 
Pelican Hardig case, which uh, stores things and keeps them dry. So then I also have this Tactical Taylor uh, double rifle, low, I think they call it the low profile rifle bag. I got it in multicam and tan because I don't really care about it being low profile. And it holds magazines, which you can see I have some mags here in this outer pouch. There's a little pouch here, two mesh pouches on the side, which I have cleaning kits and extra flashlights and batteries and things. So on this side, I have my AR pistol here, and then I'm gonna put my AK on that side underneath, and there's a divider, and then the shotgun here. And it's all the way to one side so that it will lay more flat once these other uh, firearms are in there. So as you can see, I also have a basket on top of the car. So if you see a uh, maroon, <laughs> I did not choose the color, a uh, maroon Toyota Camry driving around with a big basket on top from Oregon, then it's probably me. So uh, not a lot of people from Oregon have a car like that. So <laughs> that's just about it. I have a few more things that I'm probably gonna bring, just little stuff like uh, my you know hygiene bag and things like that. So. Uh, thanks for watching guys, and we'll catch you on the next one.